guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today for another one of my YouTube videos. So last time I did this, you guys were so, so excited and were like, Emma, you need to do more of these videos. I loved it. So I listened and a few months ago we did our first video of this and this is our second video in the series. So I'm gonna create a little manifestation success story playlist on my YouTube, which you'll be able to find this video, my previous video and any of my personal manifestation success stories as well. To keep a track on when you want some positivity and motivation towards manifesting your dreams too. So you probably know the score by now, but just in case you're new to this type of video, what I'm gonna do here is share you guys success stories, yes. So I asked on my Law of Attraction Facebook support group and on my Instagram for you guys to DM me or comment your recent manifestation success stories so I could share them here and share all of the positive vibes and abundance which we've all been experiencing over the last few months since I did my last video. So without further ado, let's get into the video and let's share your incredible stories. So first of all, again, thank you so much for all of your amazing stories. There were so many great ones, so I'm sorry if I don't get through all of them, but they are awesome and I'm so excited to share these with you. So thank you all for like being brave, sharing, um, because this I know is gonna inspire so many amazing people to share their experiences. And obviously you know the score as well, comment your manifestation success stories in the comments below um, so everybody else can take all the positivity from this side of things, but also read your incredible stories over the last few months as well. So first up, I'll start off with Facebook. We have from Lindsay, a few weeks back, me and my mom went shopping and she saw a pair of trousers she loved, but they didn't have her size, only two times size 20s. We checked online, but nothing. We went back to the shop a few times for other things and still there were only two sizes of size 20 on the rack. She'd given up, I think. At that point, I said in my head, we will get her the trousers and use the law of attraction. A few days later, I was sitting in my room one afternoon and had this overwhelming urge to go to the shop. So I walked down before it closed and headed straight to the rack to find not only the trousers she wanted in her size, but they were the only pair reduced in price too. Awesome, Lindsay, thank you for that, I love it. Get a little bargain as well. And I've had instances like this where I'm like, oh my God, I love this top, like I need this top universe. And then like, I'll go, and actually, really interestingly, I'll tell you about my Mac manifestation in a second. That was a little manifestation I'm gonna share with you. But I will like, be like, right, I'm just gonna surrender, let this top or this Mac be in stock whenever, and then literally refresh the page half an hour later, and it's there, and I'm like, Okay, thank you universe. So love that Lindsay and the power of manifesting for others as well. Like that selfless act of wanting to manifest those trousers for your mum. They're awesome ways to manifest as well because when you're manifesting for the highest good of other people, for the highest good remember, and intending that too, um, you know, it's awesome to be able to share, share our manifesting abilities, which we all have with other people and bring happiness to their lives as well. So thank you for sharing that, Lindsay. Okay, Katrina, after listening to your Positively Wealthy audiobook, I decided I wanted to manifest some additional income. I asked for a hundred pounds or more this month in addition to my usual income. I had a few small amounts come to me in the way of discounts and money off things between one and 15 pounds. Then I had a refund for my electricity bill of exactly a hundred pounds. Congratulations, Katrina, and thank you for purchasing Positively Wealthy as well. I hope you're enjoying it. And it's awesome, isn't it? Because I always use the abundance log because we can get money and money flows to us from so many different avenues. But sometimes when we're really fixated on it, it has to come through income, it has to come through this avenue, or it has to come in one amount as well. That's where we block ourselves with those hows and how it should look. So what I've been doing with the Ladies in the Manifestation membership is I've been saying, right, here's your abundance log. And each week write down any money manifestations, discounts, refunds, coupons, freebies, anything that you get, total it all up. And like, honestly, the amount of people, and I do this in my coaching clients as well, in my sessions, um, they will say like, oh, I haven't hit that money goal this month. And then I get them to work out every single thing they've manifested and they have manifested it. It just hasn't come as one, one sum, meaning that even if it's like 500 pounds or a thousand pounds, whatever it is, they've manifested it, but they just haven't been aware because they haven't been keeping track and knowing that even these little manifestations can build up to those big manifestations as well. So there's a tip for you guys. Do your abundance log and you'll be pleasantly surprised. And thank you, Katrina, for sharing that as well. Awesome. 
Gemma, hey, my manifestation story still blows my mind because I didn't think I had done the process correctly, lol. So I wanted a change in my job. The only reason I wanted this change was because I wasn't getting paid the wage I wanted. So I found a job that was different to my current one was the wage it was the wage I wanted and I had an interview for it I wanted to make sure I was doing the right thing so ask the universe to show me my next step and give me the signs of numbers wasn't sure if this was right lol so anyway it was the day before my interview for my new job and my boss from my current job texted me to go in and have a chat with her the time when I woke up to the text was 9 9 a.m when I was leaving to go into work it was 11 11 a.m Hello signs. And then when I got there, she offered me to work in the brand new dental surgery we have taken over and give me a pay rise to match the pay I've always wanted, meaning I don't have to change jobs. I can't believe it worked. I am so, so grateful. Congratulations, Gemma, that's freaking awesome. And again, because you surrendered that how of like, do I need to change job? You applied for the job as well. So you took that inspired action being open to all avenues. The universe surprised you were saying, actually, it's easier than you think. Here's some abundance. So I love that. And stories like that are great because it shows you that, especially with jobs as well, that if you are wanting that pay rise or that pay increase or money manifestation, that it is more than possible to still come through your current job and opportunities like that still happen every single day. So thank you, Gemma, for that one. Okay, Rosin. I manifested an extra 2,000 euros with my wages one particular month. I got it. I couldn't believe when it was in my account, but realized it was for office equipment. It made me very careful what I said to manifest things. Oh yes. I thought it was very funny. I have manifested a room makeover for my daughter with a competition on Facebook and my back garden being done how I wanted and liked. Car parking spaces when the car park is jammed, successful positive business meetings, have won 20s, 50s, and one times 100 euros on scratch cards, and health when people close to me were sick. Awesome, Rosane, you're like a magic manifester there. <laughs> like you're a super attractor, as Gabby would say. Awesome, and again, like, you know, showing that abundance comes from multiple forms on the scratch cards, car parking spaces, your daughter's room being done, because that's a money manifestation when you manifest competition wins or freebies like that, because, you know, total up how much your daughter's renovations would have been on her room or redecoration. And obviously like if that was like 500 pounds, for example, you saved 500 pounds, manifested 500 pounds, because that's that 500 pounds sat in your bank account and staying. So, also, and I love, and you know, the example she gives of manifesting the 2000 euros, um, but it was for office equipment. I do that with my work, I'll manifest money. And then I'm like, oh, I have that bill to pay. Oh, I have to buy some more merchandise, but I'm like, thank you universe, I'm here for it. Cause at least that means that's not that money coming out of like my personal income. So I'm here for it. But again, be specific. Good top tip from Rosin there. Get specific with how that money comes to you and what it goes towards. So thank you, Rosin, for your story there. So Charlotte, I have always had a bit of a strange relationship with money. I like to save. And then once it's in the savings account, I would be so reluctant to spend any of it. Since starting my spiritual journey and changing my perception of money and simply as simply an energy exchange, my mindset has shifted from a place of lack to a place of abundance. This has improved my relationship with money so much. I now truly believe that all money will come back to me if I spend my money in a way that really benefits me or another person rather than just for the sake of it, I attract more abundance into my life. Very good tip there. Over the weekend, I treated myself to some new crystals. Live sales are my weakness. I'm not ashamed to admit this. And there were a couple of pieces I fell completely in love with, but the old money mindset was creeping up saying, absolutely no way are you spending money on that. And the focus felt like it was on the lack that I felt would come with a dent in my bank balance. I couldn't stop thinking about the piece. However, and with a little encouragement, I realized that money will always come back to me somehow, sometime, and the regret I would feel not buying would outweigh the negative feeling of a temporarily lower bank balance. So I went ahead and bought it and actually just felt the gratitude and joy related to my new crystal baby without any feelings of lack at all. Big step. I then came across a new spawn business who didn't seem to be having as such as much luck getting started, but I found them to have lovely things and great prices. I couldn't stop thinking about this, even though I'd spent quite a lot the night before I wanted to help them out. I wanted to support them. So I went and spent more money because I 
because the happiness I felt knowing I was supporting a new small business greatly outweighed any feelings of lack spending the money might hold. I trusted the universe that the money would come back to me. Fast forward to Monday, I received an email from my letting agent saying that they needed to refund me some of my deposit because of a legislation change. Exciting, I thought, it was more than exciting. Um, when I read on, the amount I was due back was pretty much exactly what I had spent over the weekend. At first, I couldn't believe it and I did find it almost spooky. But if I ever needed proof that the law of attraction works, this was it. Wow, love that Charlotte, thanks for sharing. And like, it is true. And I think sometimes with money mindset, people can be like, I have to spend this money to show the universe I am like wealthy. And if I spend all of this money, I'm just gonna manifest more money back. So you always have to be a bit careful with that mindset because if you mindlessly spend, obviously she really wanted those crystals. So that was mindfully spending. But if you mindlessly spend on just stuff you're not really that attached to or you're not actually really gonna appreciate, when that money does leave your bank account, you're gonna feel like, oh, I shouldn't have spent that. Whereas, you know, Charlotte didn't feel that, meaning that that positive vibes, that abundance then brought that, that abundance back to her tenfold probably. So always trust that with money spending. Does it feel good? Is it a hell yes or is it a hell no? Because if it's a hell yes, you'll always feel positive after that transaction and that's what's gonna manifest that money back to you and even more. But if you're going to feel like you've got a hole in your bank afterwards, whether it's, you know, whether you've got limiting beliefs or not, it's still not going to feel good. And that's gonna put that slight negative energy towards your money flow and that stream of abundance. So always mindfully spend guys. Is it a hell yes or is it a hell no? But thank you Charlotte for sharing that. Okay, so moving on, we've got Hannah. So I just ran out of my favorite notebooks and was about to go and order some more, but I got distracted by something and I never ended up ordering them. And the next day I thought I better order those notebooks. The post came and my friend had sent me some notebooks. And not only were they the right notebooks, they were the same size that I normally have, um, they were lined and she had no idea. She just liked the man, just thought she'd send them to me. So it was a really good manifestation, which I'm really appreciative of. And sometimes it's the simple things like that. She's given us another one, but sometimes it is just the simple manifestations like that where you're like, oh, I need to purchase those notebooks. So then you get distracted, something happens, and then your best mate sends them to you, the exact ones that you wanted. So that is that like divine universal intelligence saying like, right, you need those notebooks, let's get them to you. <laughs> So the next one from Hannah is, so over the last few months, I've been thinking about a denim jacket and really like fancy funky ones. I didn't think anything of it, but I'm trying to be really conscious in how I'm purchasing things. And towards the end of the month, a friend of mine said that she'd bought this jacket and it was too small. And what was this, uh, what was my size? And it happened to be the exact right size. And she sent me this amazing, lovely denim jacket, which I love to wear. So that's two lovely manifestations in one month. Again, it's like Hannah's that manifestation magnet of being like, right universe, I'd love a denim jacket. I'd love these notebooks. And then her friends are like, we've got you boo. So, you know, if she was being conscious of her spending there, you know, it's not that she was saying, I want someone to give this to me. You know, she surrendered. She surrendered how those items were gonna come to her. And they did come to her, so amazing. Simple things, but sometimes even the smallest manifestations can bring us the greatest joy. So thank you for sharing that, Hannah. Okay, our last story before I give you my little manifestation story recently as well is from Jessie, who I actually know, she's one of my friends. Um, and I love this, it is so powerful. And if anybody is going through anything similar or any health scares, like, I was like, this needs to be included. So Jessie says, I've always known about the power of your mind, but it's one thing hearing about it and another applying it. I think only because I was put in an extreme situation that I really focused and applied what I knew I could do. I started having severe abdominal pains that would make working out impossible. And sometimes just even lifting a full kettle was painful. I'd had several tests and was awaiting a bowel procedure. I'm a very active and positive person, so having something so deliberating really affected both my mental state and what I was capable of doing physically. I couldn't work as there was no way I could last full days continuously through the day. I would need to sit down and take breaks. It was exhausting and I often found myself sitting on the sofa, binge watching a good series and snacking for comfort. This then became a daily habit and my productivity from usually juggling several projects in one day and thriving on all the goals I had set myself seemed too overwhelming to do. 
Pain not only took over my body, but over my mind. I felt I had drifted so far from the person I was and, became, and began to feel depressed. I woke up one day and realized I'd been indulging myself, allowing this thing to take over, giving all my energy and attention to it, but not in a positive way. Almost feeding it by running my life around it. Well, I decided no more. I started searching online for way to overcome illness, how to heal, how to self heal. Everything changed me in that moment. I now felt I was the one in control. I started reading a lot of success stories and how people got well. I decided not to wallow, but to get out, get out there again and live my life. I met up with a friend and we visited a mutual friend who I hadn't seen in a long time. Emma, I didn't mention to either anything I was going through. I don't like to worry people. Plus somehow once you tell someone it makes it more real, affirms it almost so I avoided that. When catching up, I found out that Emma had a book out. I was delighted for her and so proud of everything she'd achieved so far. I love you, Jessie. It gave me a real boost to want to get back on all with my plans and goals, but it was more than that and I felt it at the time. I hadn't met up with her for years as now is the perfect time for both of us to be in touch again. It really was divinely guided. <laughs> at this point, then I had my first operation. My first operation. I was told I would need another in a fortnight immediately afterwards. The wind knocked out of my sails again. So in between recovery, intrigued, I bought Spiritual Queen. Thank you, Jesse. What a refreshing boost. It's funny how words can just resonate with you and those are the exact words you need to hear at that exact time you need to hear them. I had my second operation and then finished reading. My biopsies came back, I was worried. I would have to be monitored and another procedure booked in. But this time I felt more in control, inspired from what I'd read and believing in the power of the mind to manifest anything you want, I just did that. Visualized the perfectly healthy body on returning for my next procedure, I felt calm. I looked at it as simply being a confirmation of what I already knew that I would be 100% in the clear. The procedure went perfectly and I didn't even have to wait for any biopsy results this time as there was nothing there to take a biopsy of. I know I had manifested this. I know with encouraging words at the time I needed to hear them, I had turned it all around. I know as Emma says in her book, reading it was no coincidence. Thank you for bringing light and healing into this world and for no doubt giving countless others the confidence, inspiration to get out there and to live the life of their dreams. So much love, Jesse. Love you, Jesse. And what a story. And I really wanted to share that with you guys because sometimes a health story like that can be so powerful. And it wasn't just my book that Jesse read, you know, she obviously did like a lot of research online into like probably Louise Hayster. I know she definitely looked at Jack Canfield's work and Tony Robbins work as well. So a mixture of it, definitely. I'm not just gonna say Jesse's like healed herself purely with my book, but it's that motivation, that kick up the bum that I seem to be able to give people. So we'll go with that one. But I wanted to share that because I think I'm so pleased for Jesse, like so, so happy. And I think it's just nice as well to celebrate our friends' successes, but also to celebrate everybody's successes and to bring all these amazing stories to the table today. So last but not least, a little story time with me of some manifestations I've had recently. So as you guys will know, in my last video, I talked about how I manifested Gabby Bernstein coming on my podcast. So she actually came on yesterday. That interview is gonna be out on the 24th of August. It was just epic. It was everything I ever wanted it to be. She was so kind. And you know, they say like, don't meet your idols. This is a story of two idols I have met in the last month. And both of them were like the nicest human beings ever. And it's always just nice when you like have that experience where someone's like really genuine, like they're exactly how you like see them on their videos, in person, on their stage, in their books. You know, Gabby is that person and she's just so kind, so chatty. And it was just lovely, like really, really lovely. Her energy is just phenomenal. So I shared that one before, but after that I thought, right, who else is someone else I would love to have the podcast because I've achieved so many. We've had Rebecca, Kyle, loads of, oh my God, we've had so many people. Every time I say to guess who these legendary guests were, everybody had already guessed. So many amazing people who have already come on the podcast. So do, do go down, scroll through the last three years because there really are amazing, amazing people and teachers and incredible stories on there to listen to from all of our favorites. But one personal favorite of mine is Example, Elliot Gleave. So I have loved Example's music <laughs> since I was about 14 or 15. So I'm 26, nearly 27 at the end of this month. So a long time. And I remember, I'm, it must have been, I think it was 10-ish years ago. So I may have been 15, 16. I went to his first Won't Go Quietly tour. And 
This is where I met Ed Sheeran as well. I met Ed Sheeran when he was supporting Example. This is when they wrote the Nando Skank. If anybody has heard the Nando Skank, you are in for a treat. So anyway, that was the tour I went on. Met Ed Sheeran, he was a babe, fell in love with Example, and here we are 10 years later, and I'm a hardcore lover of his music, and he, I've just loved him for years. And I've always known he's spiritual. Like I've always had this thing of like, I really think he's more spiritual than he lets on just by the things he talks about, how he is, his energy, his lyrics, his song lyric. I am like, I feel he's spiritual. So anyway, he went on an interview with this lady and I know I shouldn't look at numbers, but this is what I went to. And I thought, oh, I'll just have a look, have a little look at the live. And I was like, okay, this lady has like 2000 followers, which is still great, but I was like, if he's gonna go on an interview with someone with 2,000 followers, I have a chance. <laughs> like, I always thought before that he would just be like, cause he went on like some really big podcasts um, when he came to the UK in February. So I was like, do I have the numbers? Is it gonna be of interest? How on earth am I gonna tie in a UK rapper and musician into Spiritual Queen's Badass podcast? And I was like, I'm just gonna find a way. So after I saw this interview and I really just had that divine like download of, he left his traditional music label two years ago. He then went on and has successfully released two albums and numerous songs which have been chart topping songs by himself. I am also a person who has done things non-traditionally with publishing my books and things like that after numerous rejections. And I feel like in our world, we're having so many things not be traditional now or not how society expects. And he is an incredible businessman as well. And I thought, you know what? His creativity, and he is such an authentic person as well. Like, and he left his music label because he didn't want to create inauthentic music anymore and wanted to create the music and release that he loved. And I was like, there's your topic. Authenticity, creativity, honoring yourself, going against the grain, being unique and the business side of things as well. So I just messaged him, I DM'd him on Instagram, I was like, hey, it's me again. Um, and just said like, I have a podcast, like I'd love for you to come on. I'd really love to talk about these topics and obviously promote the new album as well. Here's my numbers, here's our like half a million downloads, like, thanks. And I sat there, it was like probably quite late and I actually did that. And I was like, oh my God. So anyway, I'd listened to some music, gone to bed, read a bit, like, I don't know why, I just stayed up quite late that evening and Hannah was up late as well. So I was texting her like, keep your fingers crossed, like positive vibes that he says yes or reads it or whatever. And at midnight, um, I got a notification on Instagram that he responded saying, yes, I'd love to. And I was like, so I called up Hannah and this is the best story ever. This is why I'm telling it. Called up Hannah at midnight, which I wouldn't do. I saw she was online on Instagram. So that's why I called her. Not because I just call my friends at midnight because that's really insensitive, but I saw she was online. So I was like, she's obviously online and awake. So I called her, she was not online and awake. She was fast asleep. And she just changed her ringtone to Luther Vandross. <laughs> and she'd had a conversation with Kyle Gray before she went to bed about how Luther Vandross was an ascended master and how much they loved him. So Hannah thought when she heard Luther Vandross going at midnight, that Luther Vandross was an ascended master <laughs> or a spirit guide speaking to her in her sleep. And she was like, Luther, Luther? And then realized, no, it was Emma calling her. She was like, hello. And I was like, oh shit, I thought you were awake. I'm really sorry. She was like, I thought you were Luther Vandross. I was like, Nope, it's just me. I was like, example said yes. So that was a really happy manifestation, like really, really happy because he's always somebody I've wanted to get on the podcast, like more than anything. Obviously I've got my spiritual manifestations and idols, but you know, my personal idols, like that was always a dream. And he was just so amazing and so generous and so lovely. And it was just the best experience. Both of them who I would say are like my spiritual idol and my like life idol, who I've looked up to both of them for years, they were just so freaking kind, so genuine, so kind, so authentic. And it was just the most enjoyable experience interviewing both of them. So I really hope you enjoy both those episodes because they're gonna be my faves 
forevermore. Um, and then my Mac was a little manifestation as well. So I had my old Mac I had behind me. I know they're identical because it's obviously Apple, but I'd had that one for like 10 years. <laughs> it was uh, it was getting a little bit used and I thought, you know what, like the SD card doesn't work anymore. I like the slot, the CD drive doesn't really work either. I was like, you know, you've worked hard over the last eight years of your life, Emma, buy yourself a new Mac. So anyway, my dad was getting his own from like a secondhand place, like a computer place where they redo them and they had a 27 inch one. So that's 21 inch. They had a 27 inch one for 700. And I was like, do you know what? That's not bad. Little did I know how big 27 inches is on that desk. It would like, I would have just looked like I had a TV behind me. Like it wouldn't be that, it would be like that. <laughs> so when I saw it in person, I was like, I think it's gonna be too big. I think that would actually blind me. <laughs> the screen was just so big. So I was like, right, okay. I wanna upgrade this Mac. Let's see what I can do. So obviously I was looking at like the 700 pound price mark. Um, I didn't really care what I spent if I was honest on it. I just didn't really wanna spend like the full a thousand pounds like they are. I was like, you know, I'm here for discounts universe. Show me what you got. So he'd agreed to cash my old one in for hundred pounds. So I was like, right, either way, I'm gonna get hundred pounds off with that trade in, which is great. So I went online and was like, right, let's find one. So I was looking at refurbished ones to start off with, but I was like, you know, do I really want one, which is only a couple years later? Like, should I just buy brand new and treat myself? Like, it's gonna last a long time as we know. So I was just looking around and didn't really find any of the refurbed ones I liked. And also they were the thicker ones, not the thin ones. So this is the thinner version. They're like really super thin now. And I had a thick one before. So I wanted the thinner new design and it was just, a, yeah, it was not happening. So I was like, right, let's buy a brand new one then. Let's go on with that. Let's have a look at them. And I saw that John Lewis had, I think it was over a hundred pound off. Um, so it was like 979, I think, for the brand new one, the 2017 edition. Um, but like brand new, two years warranty. John Lewis is always the best place to buy technology from. So you get your two years warranty with it as well, not just like a year with Apple. But hey, this is my full coupon queen coming out now. <laughs> so I was like, right, I definitely wanna buy it from John Lewis. I can get some cash back on it as well. Coupon queen, hello. I've got my 100 pounds, obviously, for my trade-in. And I was like, I want to get it because it's obviously like, I think it was, so yeah, I think the woman said it's normally about 1,100 just below. So it was just like, just over a little hundred pounds. So I was like, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with this. So anyway, I was like, okay, I just needed to come in stock because it was out of stock because obviously they'd price matched it elsewhere and it was a really popular product. And obviously it was like, you know, Apple don't discount that much. So I was like, for God's sake, universe, like I really need this to come in stock. But again, I wasn't in a rush. There was no timeline of when I needed to do this sale and trade in by, but I was just like, when's that price gonna go up? Like, oh God. Um, so I messaged John Lewis and I was like, you know, do you know when you're gonna get some more of these in? Like, when will the sale come off it? And she was like, oh, I'm not sure. But she said, we should get them in within the next five to six days because we've placed the order. So she was really helpful. So I was like, okay, manifest it. And I just had this gut feeling of like, I think it's gonna come into stock today. I don't know why. So anyway, I kid you not, this was like 8 a.m., half eight in the morning. By 9 a.m. I just went on and refreshed the page for some reason and they're in stock. And I was like, okay, let's buy one. So I got my cash back through buying it through um, a cashback website's affiliate. I got my hundred pound trade in. I got obviously the just over a hundred pound off as well. Meaning that I only actually paid just over 800 pound. I have to do the exact sum, but it was just over 800 pound, which was actually only 50 pound more than buying the second hand one. And I was like, coupon queen strikes again with her manifestations. So I was really pleased with that. I'm really, really happy with that manifestation. And now I love my new little MacBook. Well, not MacBook, Mac desktop. So anyway, I've babbled, but these are my manifestation stories. Thank you all so much for sharing your manifestation stories. I really hope you've enjoyed this video as well. I hope it's given you lots of motivation and lots of inspiration of how you can go and manifest your desires this month as well. And of course, we're gonna be doing more of these over the next few months. So keep an eye out on my Law of Attraction Facebook group, keep an eye out on my Instagram to obviously be notified when we're doing this again so you can submit your incredible stories but also comment them down below i want to know what you've been manifesting recently so let me know in the comments as well so that anybody watching can have all the positive vibes from this 
and in the comments section as well. So thank you so much guys for watching my YouTube video. I appreciate all your views and likes. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I would love, love to see you again soon. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comments section down below because I reply to them all. And don't forget you can join my free Law of Attraction support group over on Facebook where you can join myself and other like-minded souls where we talk all things Law of Attraction and spirituality. I hope you have a great week, whatever you're up to, and I'll see you all in my next video, which will be next week. Lots of love, guys.